two separate explosions in firecracker factories in less than two months, which killed five workers and injured 30 others. That's why the Labor Department issued a work stoppage order to firecracker makers and retailers nationwide. Although some stores in Bukawi, Bulacan have already closed, some are still open despite the order. Eh, siyempre, namumuhunan kami. Inuutang lang din namin ang puhunan. Evelyn Mendoza's family has been selling firecrackers for four decades now. She says they were never involved in any accident. Nagaya po ng pagawaan nito, meron po silang PS mark. Ayan po, may DTI. Kaya po, ibig sabihin, sigurado dahil yung gumagawa, maingat po naman yun ang pagkakagawa nila. A firecracker manufacturer also gave CNN Philippines access to their factory in Santa Maria, Bulacan. To keep the facility safe, workstations must be 50 meters apart. Over there is the loading station where the firecrackers are being assembled. And here is the packaging station and it must be well ventilated. And over there is the warehouse that stores the firecrackers. Owner Larry Sagana also demonstrated to us their safety practices in making firecrackers. From the mixing station, which he says is the most dangerous part of a firecracker factory. Kailangan ng pag-aalo, medyo pagagaangay mo yung kamay. At ang kamay mo, medyo nakaganyan ng konti. Hindi pwede nakaganyan. Nakaganyan. To the loading station. Meron siyang sukat kung gano'ng karami. Going to the packaging station, up until the warehouse. Sagana says the Dole order is too punitive for manufacturers like him who follow the safety standards. While the president is looking at banning firecrackers nationwide, Sagana is still hoping it won't happen. Rex Remitio, CNN, Philippines.